you live near the North and South Carolina border, you have probably noticed a big difference in gas prices. Why is that, and how does it affect the two states? Robert Johnson is one of the many North Carolinians who heads south each time he needs to fill up his gas tank. I'm just coming from work and uh, filling up my, my gas here in Fort Mill because it's cheaper than filling up my gas in Charlotte. A lot of North Carolina people do cross the line to come over here just for the gas, but among other things. It's probably at least half of our clientele, if not more. Just by crossing over the state line into South Carolina, gas gets more than 20 cents cheaper. Just up the road a few miles in North Carolina, gas is $3.30. Down here, it's $3.07. South Carolina House Representative Gary Simrel explains why. Well, South Carolina, we have a flat tax gasoline is 16.75 cents per gallon. Uh, the last time that was changed is 1987. North Carolina has their gas tax based on the value of gasoline. So as gasoline would go up, the tax incrementally goes up. So as, at an all-time high for gasoline, North Carolina, there's going to be a bigger disparity uh, between the two states. House representatives from North Carolina say they understand why folks go across the border for cheaper gas, but say it's not good for the state, causing a loss of revenue and therefore jobs. After all, if you're buying gas in South Carolina, chances are you're grabbing a bite to eat or hitting the grocery store while you're there. It gives them that extra money to get that soda that they may have not been able to afford if they bought gas up in North Carolina. But what happens if we get to the point where we all drive cars that don't use gas? If you look at cars, people who have hybrid vehicles, I drove the other day a Tesla, uses no gasoline at all, so that car is using up the road is paying zero toward the usage of that road. South Carolina has already worked to address the issue by dedicating general funds to pay for roads. North Carolina lawmakers are still working to find a solution. Caroline Fountain, Fox 46, Carolinas.